everybody. How are you doing today? I wanted to talk to you on a topic that actually a bunch of people brought up with me in my group. Um, I wasn't going to particularly make this a specific topic, but I think it's going to help you guys understand some philosophy of when and what to post and what's working. And this is what I'm seeing with myself. I've been doing this really every day for the last two months consistently. So I'm at the beginning stages of doing it for myself. Uh, but we've been doing it for different clients for a while. And if you're on Facebook, you can actually see my Instagram feed right here. And I'm going to get into that in a minute here uh, for you guys. I did a blog post. I'm going to post the blog post in the comments about video content creation and how to very easily make content. So I'm going to break down for you a very simple, in less than 10 minutes, easy to follow when and what to post on social media based on what we're seeing is working with our clients that we manage their social media and help them sell products. And then what I'm doing and testing over the last two months and really starting to refine. And I'm starting to get better at this as well. I'm starting to get more uh, clarity in what's working. Number one thing, video, okay? Every single day, you need to do video. You need to get really good at doing video. <laughs> Okay, it's not optional. Video is not optional anymore. In 2019, doing video of any kind can no longer be an excuse or an option. And if you're not doing video, you will have a much harder time of having success. Um, so that's number one is video. And here's what I would suggest. When and what to post. Go live every single day, at least once per day on a topic, a specific topic, like how I'm doing right here when I want to post on social media. It encompasses what I teach people, growing their life and their businesses using online tools. Do that, one piece of content, 10 minutes a day. Start there, just do that. That's what I started doing two months ago. I just started with one, one live on Instagram TV, and one live on my Facebook, each day and now I'm going live every single morning and you can see this now when I'm live there's only about maybe two to five people watching right now uh, but I usually get a couple hundred uh, over the course of a week it's close to almost a thousand people on some of the best videos and you'll start to notice that here's the reason why you need to go live <laughs> at least once per day and I would recommend in the morning the reason is you're sharpest I would have breakfast get your day and get to your get like built up inside of you excitement for something on a specific topic and start to hone in, think in your mind, what could I help people with today? And then teach on a one specific topic, a very specific one, but not the same topic every day. Start to do different topics as well. Um, Terry, i not sure what you're talking about. Um, anyways, go live, one specific topic per day, and what will happen is your audience will start to tell you what content to make. People will comment back. People will leave you comments specifically based on what they want to hear. They will ask questions and engage with you. Just start with this, going live once per day in the morning. Next, take Whatever main topic you talked about and pull one single quote, use Canva and type the quote out into a box, a specific quote that you know will help people. Write a description on your post, on your video live and on that quote and post that one in the afternoon. So now you have one live in the morning and one quote from the live in the afternoon. Then the next step is, Record one short one to two minute video by just taking your phone like this and holding it and doing a video on that topic. So it's a one, two, three. You do one 10 minute live once per day, either in the morning or in the evening. I try to do it also with the between the hours of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on social media because I find that any content that goes out at that time has a further reach, further engagement, reaches more people, and it's in the feed more. So I tend to not post much related to my business content until then, okay? Next, I then start to look at the feedback from people, the content. 
what style they're wanting, they're engaging with, what comments people are making, what content they are adding to that. And from here, the audience starts to tell me then what content to make. The next step from there is then I would take, if I went live every day, that's 30 pieces of content in one month, okay? Look at the data after one month of doing this, which topics have the most comments, the most engagement, the most shares, or you really, it was really intentional. The other side of this with the social media is a lot of people post with the intention of just building engagement. Have the intention not be engagement. That's almost like trying to just get the sale. Trying to only get engagement on social media is like going on a first date and expecting um, more than just the first date on the first date. Uh, <laughs> engagement is artificial and it means nothing. The number of likes, comments, and shares that you have mean nothing. What matters is the quality of the content, the quality of the comments, what people are asking, the conversation that you're starting. And so all of your content should be based on this. How can I create a conversation with people? How can I put meaningful conversation into what I'm talking about? And if you start to do this, there's a shift in social media. There's a shift. You can't do what people did in 2012 and 2014. And I'm actually taking this from a direct quote from somebody that has multiple millions of followers and works with people in the fitness industry that have millions of followers. There's a guy who has a podcast. His name's Andy Frazella. And this is what he's saying is you can't do it just to get the likes, just to get the engagement. You have to build a conversation and your social media needs to provide high end value to people, not just what gets engagement. Every post should provide a piece of value that if somebody is watching it, they could say, this was worth $10 of my time, $20 of my time just to see that post. And if you come with it from that sense that your free content, your social media content is to deliver value, not to create engagement, the engagement will then follow. Okay? So stop trying to just make engagement, just get comments, just get shares. Create content that helps people. If you don't know what to create, start with 10 minutes once a day, five minutes even, once a day, going live. People ask, okay, when do you know to, when to do live or when to post? When you're just starting out, go live for any message you want to give people that's longer than two to three minutes. If it's only two to three minutes, I would pre-record it and then upload it. It's better that way because you don't really get the amount of viewership. Once you start talking for 10 minutes, you'll start to build more viewers. You'll start to have more content. And so that's the when and what to post. And I like to do it between the hours of nine to five. And I go live in the morning and then I will strategically then, you know, if it's live in the morning, I'll then do a pre-recorded video, maybe at one or 2 PM. And then a quote graphic, maybe around five when I'm at the gym. And then in between that, I might slip in if I want to do a little question, a post, a comment, build some more engagement that way in between the content. You have to first make delivering content that is the highest possible value, your goal above and beyond any sort of engagement, and then the engagement will follow. You are now, we're now in a place where you need to sell yourself to people. Why should they ever listen to you or engage with you on social media? And, and in that, you have to deliver value. You are selling somebody on giving you 10 minutes of their time every single time that you make content. Now, it's no longer good enough to just have a pretty quote, to have a good you know, picture, uh, unless, you know, that's your industry. If you're a model or, or, or a, somebody that promotes products specifically, then, you know, you could, the best picture is what matters because that engagement makes it go further. There's different types of this. For those of you that are wanting to know what to con what to post, when to post, this is the blueprint for you. Start with the 10 minutes a day in the morning. And then from there, you can make a graphic based on that and a shortened version of it. And then from there, you can start to make blog posts, start to make podcasts, and start to make more content. And your influence will then grow because you're engaging and building a following around something that matters to people. Have a good one, everybody, and we'll talk soon. i got to end this video, too.
See, this is. <laughs> there we go. 